Hello and welcome to Aussie MTG event number one. Uh, we are playing limited. We're into the final match. We have Tyler Vizier versus Jonathan Yun. And players are basically ready to get underway. Uh, we've got Tyler still on the right, Jonathan on the left. Let's head on down there. Yeah. Both players mulligan down to six. Uh, looks like Tyler kept a one lander. Like Johnson on a black red deck. That looks like a fretwork colony, I believe. For Jonathan. <coughs> so not the start of the time I wanted for his final. <coughs> yeah, but probably just the start that Johnson would. Had a great start so far. It does look like that is the one he's got, the fruitwork colony. Yeah, second land here for Tyler. Gonna play out the monkey. Yep, so he'll lose a life and tick up the uh, the colony. It's now a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. So let's yep. see if Jonathan can capitalize on this. Yeah. yeah, and that's shock to take down there. Cat monkey is going to get in for uh, six damage, five damage. Uh -huh. Yeah, quite. And, and make a server. So the uh, uh, the shock there just cleaned up um, Tyler's side of the board, allowed him to get allowed Jonathan to get in quite a lot of damage. Uh, he'll take another. Uh, point of damage to himself, ping himself to uh, push up that uh, f fruitwork colony. Yeah, Styles actually at 13 here. Uh, Jonathan also stuck on mana, but being able to just yeah. kill everything. And that was a battle at the bridge to finish off the second cat monkey. Now, uh, Jonathan takes a quick 1 0 lead. This was under 3 minutes. Yeah, that was a very, very fast match. Yeah. Um, Unfortunate there for Tyler to only get stuck on the one land. Yeah, not much he could do, really. Um, yeah. No, I think one creature out. His deck really favours, you know, having resources. Yep. And then Jonathan is very low to the ground, playing a very aggressive black red deck, like we saw last round with Ryan. Yeah. We saw how those decks uh, like to get on the board quickly and get as much damage as possible. Alright, so Tyler's on the ropes now. And Jonathan just needs one more to take home the trophy. Um, so Tyler's on the play again, he's doing some sideboarding, so we got to remember he also lost game one against Ryan in the semi-finals. Yeah. And managed to come back and win it 2-1. Tyler's very good at, at um, building up the game state to a point where he can just start to capitalise on any tiny mistake. <laughs> yeah. Um, very good at coming back from behind, uh, that's pretty much his play style. Yep, yeah, yeah, very talented player. Um, so let's... See what Jonathan can do to limit Tyler's chances. Yep. I think the odds are a bit in Jonathan's favor. Uh, okay. His deck is a bit faster than Ryan's was. Uh, a bit more low to the ground. Mm -hmm. He has a few more burn spells. So more removal? Yeah, a bit more yeah. removal. Shock saw? Uh, we saw shock, we saw battle at the bridge, and uh, I believe he has another removal spell. Okay. Uh, which is just off camera. Okay. Yep, so let's, uh, let's head on over there, because it looks like players are... <coughs> Doing their last little bit of shuffling. Yeah, players just shuffling up, presenting. Looks like Tyler's a little bit low on confidence here. <laughs> see him playing with that pen there. Yeah, he's not going to let that loss affect him too much. Uh, Jonathan's the same. He's not going to get, you know, too. too ahead. He's not going to get too ahead of himself. He knows that there's still some more magic that's going to have to be played. Looks like Tyler's happy, yeah, and Jonathan's happy as well. Awesome. <coughs> okay, so both players just start with their uh, their land for the turns. Tyler's onto his blue green pretty quickly. Yeah, very lucky there for Tyler drawing that green mana. He was the only had a mountain with his upper land in hand. So a bit of a risky keep there, but it's gonna be paid off. So there's that uh, bruiser again for 
it's actually the, uh, it's the yellow one? Yep. Yeah. It's from the new set. So one one. Where is it? It's silly card galleries. No. Oh. There's an eighth of poison enough. That's its name. So it's death touch, one one, when it attacks you may pay two energy to make a servo. This may be the final, but we're still learning all the names. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets in there for one and makes a servo. And plays a sky skiff. So it's a two three, it's gonna be a nice blocker for that. Imperial Voyager. And Imperial Voyager, as we've seen, has put in a lot of work for Tyler over the course of the finals. Uh, I guess he's hoping it, it uh, can do a lot of damage for him today. Well, in this game. Yeah. Alright, there's a swooper for Tyler. Gain him some energy. Right, let's see what Jonathan can do. A little strained on mana here, which is unfortunate. Yeah, missing the last two land drops. He doesn't have any more energy to make servos. It just looks like that Skarsky is going to stay back on defense. Plays out another one of those uh, either poisoners. Get himself another two uh, energy, which he'll spend up straight away to get another uh, server. Yeah, and Talon's not blocking there because he doesn't want to trade with the Death Touch creature. <laughs> Talon's got his five mana, so he can play his Thopters. Make it two Thopters, which line up pretty well with those one on one Death Touches. See Jonathan Jonathan can hit these lands. Oh no. Yeah, no land for him there. So still strained on two mana. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. A lot of the cards in his hands are just in his hand is just uncastable at the moment. It's really disappointing. I would have said he did have a good board, but now um Tyler seems to have caught up and, and, and dealt with that. And they're at a bit of a standstill now. Yeah, neither player is able to push for much damage. There's an implement, the black one, go pay a black, and make a play discard a card as a sorcery. Tyler will play out his sixth land. Uh, so I see a taken custody in Tyler's hand. So this attack signals. He's probably just going to attack down that Skarsk if when it gets crude. He's going to pay one and make a server. We see the nice combo of Swooper and Voyager. And there's that take into custody, tapping him down. Going to trade the Death Touch with the 2-2. Two -two. Take five damage. So Jonathan will go down to uh, fifteen there.
So we just had a question about uh, about the stream there, where players can um, put their uh, their cards out to. So hopefully that will fix any problem we have with not being able to see cards off the screen. And Tyler just pointing out that Jonathan uh, blocked with that uh, other creature last turn, so it uh, earlier on, so it should have been should have been gone. Jonathan's going to sacrifice that and force Tyler to discard that card in his hand, draw a new card. Still no land. Very disappointing for Jonathan. Super constrained on mana, there's not much he can really do about it at the moment. A full grip of seven cards in hand and I don't think he can cast any of them at the moment. Oh, one or two that he can cast. Yeah, it looks like he's deciding what to discard. Oh, he had eight. Yeah. I thought I counted seven. Yeah, no, with the implement, he drew the extra card. Right, okay, so he'll deal with that creature over there. Yeah, so it does it on Tyler's upkeep. And Tyler's just going to swing in all the creatures. That's Oops. Look like the servo just died. So he still has the four thopters. Jonathan goes down to nine. There's only two creatures left on board and two mana. Not looking good for him at the moment. Yeah, the good news is for Jonathan if he can yeah, here's the land. And now he can start stabilizing. He's gotta deal with this Voyager. And then he can start picking off these thopters. Because Tyler is just out of gas at the moment. So a very timely top deck of a land, you think? Yep, he's going to play two creatures there. He's playing out two automatons. Tyler's drawing prey upon. It's pretty useful. So Jonathan's not out of the woods yet. So Tyler's going to attack. We'll see how Jonathan blocks. Any way that he blocks, he's oh, he's going to cast Battle at the Bridge. No, he's not. So he's going to crew Sky Skiff. Yep, a little confused about what was happening there. So he takes four damage. He yeah, entirely loses a lot of Thopter. And now he's going to prey upon this creature. Now Jonathan uh, made the mistake there. Showed Tyler a card in his hand. I believe Battle of the Bridge is a sorcery. It is indeed. Yeah, it is a sorcery. Yes, that's just the mistake that Jonathan made. And they're being too punished by it. But it looks like he's just gonna kill that Voyager now. And it's gonna gain him five life. That's a huge, a huge swing there for Jonathan. Tyler all on tap with three uh, servos. They're thopters. They're thopters, so. So he's able to attack in the air then. Yep. And plays the cat monkey. He's going to be able to move one, move those to those counters from the monkey to one of the thopters if he wants. Just to push through more damage in the air. Could also give him the option to draw implement of ferocity for lethal. But that does open up himself up to 
being blown out by removal. But Jonathan still can't find any more lands. So it still looks like he's stuck to one spell per turn. He's going to play an ally. Oh, rebel, sorry. That's 3-3. Three, three. So Tarlin's stopped in his upkeep. He has the cat monkey trigger on the stack. He's just going to move one of those counters. Just to push a little bit more damage in through the air. Swing in for four. You can start to draw an island. So this Jonathan goes down at two. Yeah, Tar has multiple threats that are lethal now. But Jonathan still can't find that land. Swinging in for three because it has to attack each turn. Just thinking what else he could possibly do. Takes the damage. Yeah, Jonathan sees that he can't beat what's on the board. He's going to scoop it up. So that's an equalizer there for Jonathan. Yeah, Tyler making his comeback. So it brings it to 1-1. One, one. Uh, so the next game, Jonathan's going to be on the play for the first time. Uh, and that's ideal for his deck. Let's mm -hmm. get on the front foot, get in some damage. Um, hopefully for this last game, we have both players with decent mana. Uh, we saw in the first game, Tyler mulled to six and got stuck on one land. And then in that game, uh, Paul Jonathan stuck on two lands. Yeah. Had a good keep. And then just uh, unfortunately couldn't find his third land until about turn seven. Yeah. And uh, then just never found his fourth land. Just bad beats on... on uh on his deck's behalf, I guess. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, that, that experience, it's going to happen to Magic sometimes. And unfortunately for <laughs> us and the viewers, uh, it's happened twice in the finals. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully, game three is no mana troubles and a cracker game. Yeah. Well, looks like our players are almost ready to go, so we may just jump straight back down into the action. Yeah, let's jump over there. So the players are just shuffling up. No real sideboarded choices they have to make. Tyler's happy with his choices, and so is Jonathan. So, um, game plan for each player here? I think Jonathan just wants to uh, get threats on the board, and then use his removal to slow Tyler down and put pressure on him. Uh, it's basically what Ryan did to win his games. Uh, to win his game yeah. against Tyler. Uh, just needs to take advantage of any stumble that Tyler makes. Uh, Looking at Jonathan's hand here, it's not good. I didn't see any lands. Yeah, so he'll shuffle that back. he's gone down to six. Can't quite see Tyler's. And Tyler's looking at it. Looks like he's going to keep though. I think I saw a couple of lands in there. Yeah, he's got a couple of lands in there. So he's fine, he's going to keep that. Blue though I think that's red 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 ah uh, green green red. Yeah, we saw him keep a bit of a sketchy one last game. But he got lucky and drew his other mana sources. <coughs> so let's see what he can do this time. Alright, jump in hand. One land so far. Two lands. Alright, this looks like a keeper. So you say Sky Skiff, a Battle of the Bridge. And he scries to the top. And an Automaton. Tyler has a 2 drop and he's going to be able to play to get in front of this Automaton. So, 
Swing in for one. He plays out that vehicle. Yeah, Tart still hasn't found his uh, blue matter. But it's going to lead with a long tusk card. Let's see, next turn he has a filigree familiar. He's going to be able to deploy. Jonathan's just going to get in with his sky skip for two damage. Let's see what he can do at three. Let's uh, sacrifice an artifact. Two plus two plus two, I believe. The, uh... Defiant Salvager. Let's sacrifice an artifact or creature to put a plus one plus one counter on it. You can only do it at sorcery speed. And this is a filigree familiar. Take Tyler back up to 19. Still needs to find blue mana. Yeah, a couple of blue cards in Tyler's hand there. Yeah, see so the two Thopters. This time Jonathan manages to get his uh, his lands on time. He's just looking to start casting a couple of cards a turn. Yeah, he's just got two cards left in hand though. So he's running out of spells. And it's like a wrangle, so he's going to mm -hmm. steal that familiar for a turn. Oh. And play the Aether Poisoner. So he can also sack this familiar after combat to grow his salvager and he'll get to draw a card. That's a great play there with the Wrangle. Tyler was really counting on that blocker and the card draw. Mm. And he sacrifices the, uh, the filigree? Yeah. Yeah. In the um, second main phase, get himself a counter on that creature. And uh, takes takes away the uh, the draw that that Tyler was looking forward to. Yeah, Tyler draws another blue card. Still no blue matter. It's disappointing. Yeah, he's gonna play his Cobra and just pass the turn. Okay. So we hold that up with Death Touch. The mana to give it Death Touch. A few options here for Jonathan. Uh, it's another wrangle. It's wow. gonna steal the long time. It's come. Not looking good here for Tyler. He's thinking of how he wants to block. He's considering blocking the automaton, so Jonathan doesn't pump it. So we know in the second main phase, Jonathan's going to sacrifice that cub to the salvager. So Tyler is not gonna be left he's gonna be left with no creatures on board facing down at least four. Yeah, so Tyler goes with no blocks. He's hoping to draw a island off the top and then play one of those doctors. Doctors using Cobra as improviser. This is the only art for Tyler now, it's drawing island. Yeah, it's a forest, yeah. That's disappointing. Mm, 
plays out another. Cat Monkey, Jonathan yeah. confidently untaps and see that the writing is on the wall. Draws another land. No, oh, this is a spell. Oh, it was. I thought it was mounted. All he really has to do is attack in here. Now Jonathan's thinking of what to play around. Just being cautious, doesn't want to overextend when he doesn't have to. So he didn't attack with the salvages, so Tyler is going to have a turn after this. So this is actually good for Tyler, unless Jonathan has something in hand. We know it's a spell. Yeah, so Tyler takes two, he's going down to two. He's going to untap, needs that island. Oh! He hits the island. That's going to create two Thopters. Well, big play there for Tyler. Big play. See what Jonathan can do now. I'm gonna play that creature and just look that guy up. That is Morphis Squad. Menace 3 1 with Fabricate 1. So there's a 4 2 Menace. Does some chump blocks. You know, he has another Thopterist in hand. I feel like he's just delaying the inevitable at the moment. Mm. Tyler would need to be really, really lucky to be able to fight his way out of this one. Yeah, Tyler's going to play to all his outs though. Here comes the second Doctorist. Brings along two Doctors. More blockers. He'll deal with that. Yeah, well, this one's gonna kill that. And that's the win. There we go. So, all right. congratulations to Jonathan, yeah. uh, he's been crowned uh, Aussie MTG champion for yeah. event number one. For event number one this Just year. Just number one. <laughs> uh, commiserations to Tyler, unfortunate that we get to uh, see him lose like that at the end. Mm. Uh, didn't matter, screwed, which uh, we really didn't want, especially after the first no. two games were also affected by mana. Uh, we had a great run near the finals, but uh, unfortunately for him, uh, Jonathan took the win in the end. Yeah, and Tyler will be back. He's a great player. Yep. Um, yeah. Consistently makes top eights or places very well into these events. So. Yep. He'll absolutely um, bounce back. <laughs> yeah. And Jonathan will ride this success. He's been great lately. Uh, he's putting up some great performances. And once again, he's put up great performance, and he's finally reached the yeah. extra point and taken home the trophy. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the trophy on us. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, so okay. it, it hasn't arrived yet, so uh, John will be pre presented with that uh, at the next event. At the next event, right. But he will receive his prize money, so I feel like that's a pretty good compromise. Yeah, it's $300. Yeah, it's a pretty good compromise. It is it's still $300. Still $300 and $100 for first place. For second. For second place. <laughs> it's Sorry. been a long day. It's been a long day. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, that's all we have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, We've really enjoyed being here and bringing coverage. Uh, I think it was really cool to be able to get uh, a 
camera out to watch the top eight draft. That was that was really yeah. This is the first time we've covered uh, a limited tournament. Yeah, uh, we're a bit rocky because you know it's a very new set, and uh, we're only down to two of us today. There's usually three of us, but uh, unfortunate yeah. circumstances, and our good friend had to miss out. Yeah, so, uh, so we wish all the best to them, and yeah, that about sums it up. Yeah, uh, we're very excited for the events for the rest of the year. We'll be at the same. Sent will be at same uh, venue. Tw- venue, that's the yep. word I'm looking for. Same venue. Yep, we'll be here for the rest of the year, probably. At least I for the next so. few yeah, events. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our next event is going to be in February. Uh, we're still locking down a date. Uh, we've got a lot of conflicting tournaments on, so we're trying to find yeah. one that suits the players we, best. We do have our DP, GP in Brisbane happening on February 16, 18. Yeah. Yeah. So that could uh, very well get in the way of, of us running the event. Yeah, definitely, because I know, I know we'll be there. Yeah, I know a lot of players will be there. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go off, say congratulations to, and commiserations to the players, uh, and go and have some dinner. So, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us throughout the day. Uh, and just a reminder, we're now Aussie MTG. Uh, we've launched the website. Uh, go to www.aussiemtg.com. Check out all the features. Uh, find out all the information on current and future events and we'll have a lot more new content coming out over the coming weeks and months yep and uh do remember that we will be updating the twitch soon so it won't be at uh pop lot mtg anymore uh but all that information will be going up on the website when when we've uh, finalized everything yep all right that's all we've got to say so once again thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time bye see you later